just a moment, please. And uh, in my brother, uh, my Bible brother Jimmy. Uh, most people that haven't seen this ride the Harley into the church and say, why do you ride a Harley into the church the night you do your testimony message? Well, first of all, it's no sin to ride a Harley. That's right. If you ride a Yamaha, that might be a sin. <laughs> to get people in the only one come. And so we've been doing that. Now, we started, in fact, the first time we did was in a local church, and we did in our tent meetings and our crusades, and it seemed to be, that prop seemed to be a, a, a part that would help bring people out, stir people, invite people that were lost without Christ that would never come to a church. And that's the reason we do it. But our yeah. subject tonight's going to be about the old rugged cross. Amen. 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 Before we do that, we want to receive our offering. Now, our ministry is called Freedom Crusade Ministries. It's an international ministry. We have uh, uh, five churches in Zimbabwe, Africa, two clinics. We have orphanages in El Salvador and in Costa Rica. We also have, in the United States, we have three recovery centers. One of our recovery centers in uh, Winsboro, Louisiana, Fresh Start, we have 78 men. So you can imagine that the ministry, with all the outreach that we have, that we're a ministry of faith. No one bankrolls this ministry. No one, no church sends us something, says, here, Brother McGee, here's your year's worth of money. Do your ministry. Do a budget. But we believe that God's people have the ability to hear His voice. Yeah. Yes. And if they will hear Him, then every need will be supplied. And not only will they give into this ministry, well, they have needs met, but he's promised to bless them back a hundredfold. Yeah. Yes. I just want to prove that to you. Look at me over the book of Mark before we receive this offering. Mark chapter number 10. Mark 10. For years, I struggled as an evangelist. I mean, could barely make it from one week to the next because I didn't understand the principle of God in this law called reciprocity. The Bible said, whatever a man sows, that shall he also reap. Amen. And I had gone for years, and I would just, you know, I tithe, but I just, when it comes to giving to evangelists or ministries or missionaries, I just really didn't think about it. I just did what I wanted to. And it meant nothing to me. And I remember at that point, me and my wife, I said, you know, we're, we're in such debt. And we're traveling this nation. The Lord said, you know, you've been given offerings, and they meant nothing to you. Why do you think they mean anything to me? Mm -hmm. I remember what a revelation that was. We agreed we'd never give another offering unless it, unless it meant something. If it had a purpose to it. Yeah. Yeah. And we began to study the scriptures on that. We found out that God promises two people a hundredfold return. That's the man that is, hears the call of God and forsakes all to preach the gospel. Look at verse 29 of uh, Mark chapter 10. Verily I say to you, there has no man that left his house, brethren, sisters, father, mother, or wife or children, or lands for my sake of the gospels, but he shall receive a hundredfold win. Now. Yeah. Don't you 